Okay, let's be honest. This relationship is weird. It's just as weird as Jennifer Hudson's outfits, all right? I don't know if she wants to be Mary Poppins or she's in some type of Russian couture. Nothing matches with them. Not the outfits, not the direction of the camera they're looking at, or the musical choices. It's just, I don't know. Y'all come on in the room because we got some more tea to spill. It looks like Common must have watched our video because he done effed around and found out when it comes to his relationship with Jennifer Hudson because he just found out the hard way that Jennifer is not the one to play with. Now y'all remember how Jennifer and Common made their relationship public recently, right? Well, word on the streets is that Common's wandering I already led him into some lust. And he already cheated on Jennifer with a mystery woman. Well, Jennifer was not about to take that lying down and she flipped out on him, dragged him for filth and dumped him like a hot potato. Yeah, y'all right. Y'all need to sat down because Jennifer is not letting him get away with it. I'm in a relationship that is one of the most beautiful people I ever met in life. And she's, she's smart. She loves God. She has something real down to earth about her. Um, she's talented. But but I set I set my standard kind of high because she had to have an EGOT. She 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 had to win an Oscar on her first movie. I set my standard high. She had to get her own talk show. Oh, okay. Y'all, yeah, so. <laughs> it looks like Common has been slaying it all around town. Even though he's in a committed relationship with Jennifer Hudson, or at least we thought it was a committed relationship. Instead, it looks like Jennifer was the only one being committed, and Common was out ya, being the playboy that fans have always accused him of being. Now, I know that it sounds bad, but a lot of y'all saw this coming. But y'all, honestly, Stevie Wonder could have seen this coming from a mile away. Because given Common's track history with women in the past, yeah, it's not that shocking that he's now being accused of stepping out on Jennifer. Now, now I have to say this, that him stepping out on the EGOT winner Jennifer Hudson needs to be a crime or something like that because cheating on her is insane. I mean, she's literally an EGOT winner and one of the most talented women in the world. So Common doing her dirty is low-key wild. Common was supposed to love her. She turned her back and she found a survive on the line. Now I'm not trying to victim shame Jennifer or anything like that, but she got warned by a lot of fans, y'all. Even Common's ex Tiffany Haddish went over and beyond trying to get Jennifer to see the type of person that Common was. But to be fair, Tiffany wasn't doing it out of goodwill or anything like that because she was allegedly being a hater and hating on the new relationship because she was still in love with Common and hated the fact that he had moved on from her to someone else. Y'all, Tiffany didn't even wait for Jennifer or Common to come out and officially confirm that they were in a relationship before she started throwing shade. The only thing we heard about the rumors of them being together were a few unconfirmed juicy gossip lines here and there, but Tiffany didn't let that stop her from hating. Honestly, I have to admire her dedication to being a strong hater. But then she was also trying to warn Jennifer about how Common was a common playboy who was going to end up getting her hurt. And if we're being honest, Tiffany was probably in the best position to warn Jennifer about what she was getting into because Tiffany had gotten her heart broken by Common not once, but twice. That's not even including all the shady things that he did to her when they were dating and how he didn't always treat her the way she wanted to be treated. Now, Tiffany has always had high hopes that Common is truly the man for her, and she put everything she had into making sure that he saw it too. And she tried to get him to love her like she wanted. They first caught feelings in 2019 when they both worked on the movie, The Kitchen, and Tiffany caught feelings before the movie even wrapped up. Now, let's hold on a second here, because doesn't that seem like that's Common's M.O., always hooking up with his movie castmate? The only person I ain't heard about him hooking up with was Queen Latifah. But shoot, he might have. But to be fair, Common was feeling her too, even though Tiffany was the first to catch feelings. And y'all know that Common knows when and how to turn up that Riz. It didn't take long for Tiffany to fall head over heels in love with him, but at the last moment, he pulled out the rug from underneath her, ending their talking stage and choosing to get back with his ex, Angela Rye. Now, Tiffany was heartbroken over this because she thought that she had a solid thing going, but Common wasn't on the same page with her, and he didn't feel her like she was feeling him. Now, you'd think that this would have been the cue for Tiffany to move on and take her L like a champ, right? While dealing with the fact that she had gotten played. But no, that's not how it worked out at all because Tiffany was more than willing to sit on the sidelines and wait for Common and Angela's relationship to fall apart. Because again, Common didn't have a reputation for being able to keep a relationship. 
and it was only a matter of time before the things with Angela hit the rocks too. And as it turns out, Tiffany didn't have to wait very long because Common dumped Angela in only a matter of weeks. So Tiffany's long suffering paid off at the end of the day. But after breaking up with Angela, Common decided to spin the block right quick back to Tiffany. And y'all can bet your entire paycheck that she immediately was like, yes, yes, she ready, she ready. And she didn't try to put up a pretense or make him work for it or nothing because she took him back and fell for him all over again. Now, at first, they tried to do the whole privacy thing, but that quickly went sideways when the lockdown hit and they quarantined together. Now, Tiffany went live on Instagram with Gabrielle Union and Dwayne Wade, and we saw Common in the background. And that's how we knew that they were for sure together. Now, before he and Tiffany got official, Common already had a very long list of relationships with other women that didn't really go well. I mean, this man dated Serena Williams, Taraja P. Henson, Erica Badel, and a couple of other women I'm leaving off the list. It's interesting to know that none of his exes are particularly friendly with him, especially Miss Erica Badel, and that's because he was reported to have done all of them dirty. For some context, Erica and Common started dating in the year 2000, and they were together for two years before Erica decided to end the relationship herself in late 2002. Now, at first, Erica didn't want to go into too much detail about the breakup, but Common was only too happy for her to talk about it and he blasted Erica saying the reason for the breakup was Erica caught feelings for somebody else and she dumped him over the phone he said she handed it to me I was in my hotel room on tour and she called me and was like hey I don't want to be in this relationship no more I'm like it's somebody else that was my first love and my first heartbreak he also revealed that he was crushed when the relationship with Erica ended saying with Erica Badu that was my first love when you just open and floating he said when we split i was 27 and 28 i was in a haze just going through the motions it was hard to eat erica was like i guess i'll see you next lifetime no hard feelings but erica finally had enough of him telling his sob story from his point of view and making her look bad and she eventually hinted that there was some infidelity involved in the breakup she said no Infidelity is not a deal breaker for me. We're all born sexual beings. I myself am not someone with a very high libido. I don't require intimacy for happiness. I need companionship. I need a partner I can depend on, that I can love and grow with. But I do understand the nature of these men I've been with, and men in general. They have the need to change. So even though he allegedly cheated on Erica, he tried to spin the narrative of the breakup as her fault and accused her of catching feelings for another man. Talk about being manipulative. When Erica was the one that said, you better call Tyrone. So when I say that this man has a bad rap, I mean it. But after he ended things with Angela, he tried to fix his image by saying that he had gone to therapy and was willing to be a better partner and blah, blah, blah. You have a, a rather famous relationship coach. Oh yeah, yeah, that, yes, uh, Michelle Obama. She has definitely helped talk me through just certain moments of relationships. We had conversations and she has given me a lot of wisdom. But one great thing that, that she told me as I was going through this journey was that you have to understand you're not going to get anybody that's perfect because you're not perfect. So understand that there's some certain things that you will compromise in, in, in choosing that partner. But long, as long as the, the core values, the values that are most important to you, that person, you know, marks off on that list. And you good. She gave some good advice there. That's good wisdom. She does some really good wisdom there. Yeah. But that didn't quite work out because when Tiffany started to get serious with the relationship and talk about how she wanted to be engaged, Common immediately switched up on her, making it clear to the paparazzi that he had no plans to propose. I'm going to do what's good for, for me and the lady. <laughs> you know, right now all I want is happiness, good times, um, peace on earth. <laughs> 
this point, we could tell that he had already emotionally checked out of the relationship, but Tiffany didn't quite get that memo yet, and he eventually dubbed her like a hot potato. But just like he did with Erica Badu, he twisted the story a bit so that he didn't look like the bad guy in the breakup. Instead of saying that he had gotten bored with Tiffany, he tried to play it off as a mutual breakup, saying that they both had busy schedules. Once Tiffany and I got back on the move, it, it really didn't allow for us to spend as much time and put as much energy into our relationship. I don't think the love really dispersed. I just think it was just like, we weren't feeding a relationship. He was trying to avoid being the villain by all means, but that didn't work out because Tiffany was not about to be silent about what really happened. She decided to spill her side of the story, revealing that he left her heart in pieces. And she didn't mince words either, saying he might be the type of person that never really settles down with somebody. Maybe he's like, you know, like a bee going from flower to flower to flower. I don't know. I wish her nothing but joy and happiness. But she didn't stop there because she has continued to speak on Common ever since then. So when I tell you that she will be the perfect person to tell Jennifer Hudson about the type of person Common is, I was being for real. Now before Common and Jennifer got together, they ran into the same circles in Hollywood and a source who knew them said that they've known each other for years. Things took a romantic turn while they were filming in Philadelphia over the summer. When the day's shoot wrapped, they'd always find their way to each other's side. And of course, Jennifer tried to play coy, saying, people create their own narratives of it. We shot a film together and he played my husband. We gotta eat in between those moments. But then they were spotted on a date in Malibu after the movie finished filming and it was harder for them to keep denying it. He even flew to London for the premiere of her musical The Strange Loop. According to an insider, there has been speculation for months regarding whether or not they are together. But the fact that they've traveled all the way to London together just shows they're very much an item. They arrived to the show individually to avoid any commotion, but away from prying eyes, they were very much in each other's company. Well, they eventually came clean about the relationship on her show when Jennifer asked him if he was seeing anyone, and he said this. Are you dating anyone? <laughs> so, yes, and I'm in a relationship that is one of the most beautiful people I ever met in life. And she's, she's smart, she loves God, she has something real down to earth about her. Um, she's talented, but but I set I set my standard kind of high because she had to have an e god. She, she 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 had to win an Oscar on her first movie. I set my standard high. She had to get her own talk show. Oh, okay. Yeah, so. <laughs> then it was at this point where things started to fall apart for them because the rumors started going around about how the relationship was getting kind of strained. It started with Tiffany Haddish revealing that she was still hurting over the breakup. Even though it had been two years, she said, it was the healthiest, the funnest relationship I ever had. It's where I felt safest out of all the relationships I've ever had. The breakup wasn't mutual. It was more him saying, I think this relationship has run its course. And I was like, okay, like you gonna be a 50 year old single man? Okay. Now at that point, people started to see the common denominator with common. And they gave her the side eye for talking about a relationship that ended two years before, especially since the man in question already had a new boo thing. It was giving obsession and people were tired of hearing Tiffany talk about it. But as it turned out, Tiffany was telling the truth about how common wasn't the lover boy that he pretended to be because he was still the same old person. New reports claim that Jennifer has found out the hard way about what the type of person Common is, and things are looking very shaky for their relationship. According to reports, Common has been making moves to make things official with Jennifer. You know, settle down, get married, and all that stuff. But Jennifer is very reluctant to settle down with him because his past is way too sketchy for her, especially because she has her suspicions that he might have been cheating on her, allegedly. An insider said after her engagement went south, Jennifer was adamant that she would never marry, that it just wasn't in the cards for her. But then Common came into her life and swept her off her feet. Common tells Jen despite his past with so many famous women, he's in a relationship for keeps. But Jen felt that way when she was engaged for nine years. 
and she doesn't want to end up with a broken marriage and be back at square one. Now for some context, y'all, this little insider message is referring to Jennifer's failed engagement to wrestler and I Love New York contestant, David Otunga, and how toxic things got when she tried to leave their relationship. The relationship was so toxic that Jennifer has never really dated since then until Common that we know about. So it makes sense that she would be very careful about the men that she wants to settle down with. Jennifer and David Otunga were introduced by a mutual friend in 2007 and they clicked and started dating after a few weeks. They were so in love that they got engaged in 2008, less than a year after they started dating. It was kind of quick, but hey, they were in love and eager to start their old family. But unfortunately, life happened and they had to put their plans of marriage aside for a while. Now Jennifer's mom, brother, and nephew all lost their lives at the hands of their brother-in-law and Jennifer was thrown into a nightmare. That same year she got pregnant and in 2009 they welcomed their son David Jr. and she was starting to heal from the nightmare. However, rumors started going around that the relationship wasn't as picture perfect as it seemed to be on the outside. They kept delaying and postponing their wedding, claiming that they were waiting for justice for the murder of Jennifer's mom, brother, and nephew. They said that was something that was hanging over our heads for so long and now we feel like we can finally breathe a sigh of relief everything is good now but that was obviously an excuse and fans started to notice some big red flags like the fact that david seemed kind of insecure see jennifer was climbing the ladder in hollywood getting more and more popular and taking more care of her outfits and her body and he didn't like the fact that she was getting too popular and attractive he liked it when she was heavy heavy but then she got so skinny on d but jennifer hinted at this in an interview where she asked what does your fiance think does he like the new svelte you jennifer responded He's getting adjusted to it. He's not really into change that much. So he fusses at me like, why do you have to get all dressed up to go out? And why can't you just go out like you used to? And I'm like, I'm a walking billboard, honey. Now they ended up splitting for good in 2017. And boy, oh boy, did things get messy. Now y'all know that Jennifer is not the type of celeb to get involved in messy drama. But the fact that she was willing to take this all the way there says a lot about things and how they were behind the scenes. She claimed that David switched up on her when things started to go left in the relationship, saying that he was a bad partner to her and a bad father to their son. According to leaked court documents, she accused him of DV, saying that he had started getting aggressive and threatening and harassing her both mentally and physically. And it didn't stop there. She accused him of being insanely jealous to the point where his accusations about her were no longer making logical sense. David and his lawyers immediately got to work defending and they claimed that Jennifer had been cheating on him with half of the men in Hollywood. And that's why she had gotten so popular. However, Jennifer denied the claim saying that he was the one who cheated on her. And on top of that, he got jealous of her success to the point where he used their son as a pawn in his schemes, trying to get him to spy on Jennifer. According to Jennifer, things got worse when David started sending her some seriously scary messages whenever she was at the studio. And the messages were bad enough that she had to call for security, fearing that he might show up to the studio and cause trouble. But thankfully, he didn't. But the drama didn't end there because he was waiting for her when she got home where he allegedly got physical, grabbing their son and dragging her around. Not a pretty picture to say the least. Again, David denied these allegations, accusing Jennifer of trying to paint him as the villain because she wanted the sympathy of fans and the media. And his lawyer said that he denies each and every allegation Hudson has made against him and that at no time did Mr. Otunga visibly push Miss Hudson as she has alleged. Well, Jennifer also accused him of trying to play mind games with her to mess with her head as a control tactic, like the time he allegedly left a gun out on the kitchen table, messing with her head in some twisted attempt at mind games. And I'm not gonna lie, this was very messed up considering that Jennifer had been through some serious trauma involving guns in the past. I mean, her mom, her brother, and nephew were all lost the same day due to gun violence. So him allegedly trying to mess with her head using a firearm was just downright sinister. Again, David's legal team spun the story a different way, saying that the gun was only a fake prop that he had used for an audition. And they claimed that he told this to Jennifer when she saw it, but she still freaked out. However, Jennifer has always insisted that it was a not so subtle intimidation tactic, a way for him to mess with her head without saying a word. 
Now, David's lawyers released a statement saying, Mr. Otunga has never abused or harassed Ms. Hudson or their son, and it is very unfortunate. And it is unfortunate, especially in today's climate, that she would feel the need to make these false allegations against him. Mr. Otunga looks forward to his day in court and in being awarded the residential care of the party's only child. He also claimed that the reason that Jennifer was telling all these stories was that she was trying to get pity and paint him as an unfit parent so she could get custody of their son. His lawyer said, he has never abused or harassed Ms. Hudson or their son. Well, the lawyer went on to claim that David had been trying to negotiate terms of an amicable parenting agreement with Jennifer for several weeks and said the actress and singer were trying to gain an unfair advantage in the custody dispute by filing her order. The lawyer added that David looked forward to his day in court and in being awarded the residential care of the party's only child. Yeah, the relationship was a hot mess and it explains why Jennifer is so careful in her relationship with Common. She got cheated on once by her fiance allegedly and she is not about to repeat the same mistake all over again. According to an insider, Jennifer thinks that Common has a lot of audacity to cheat on her and then propose to her like it didn't matter. Honestly, it's hard to blame her for this and I'm not trying to be judgy or anything, but Common is not exactly known for being solid in his relationships and according to an insider, Jennifer Loki believes that was the reason that he was suddenly obsessed with reposing is that he is trying to not lose her because of his cheating. Well, the streets have been talking and they've been telling Jennifer to run, run, run and they believe in Common saying, at the end of the relationship, I said she should keep stepping or keep her feelings in her pocket. Sounds like common is a good sign, but also a heartbreaker. I think she is wise to proceed with caution. I think Jennifer Hudson should keep her guard up and her eyes 93 open when it comes to common. I don't think he is as upstanding as he tries to seem. It's just something about him. It's 2024, so who knows what will come out or happen. And I'm definitely glad she's wide awake, 93, and knows what she's truly dealing with. Smart lady. But I need to know what y'all think about this. Are you glad that Jennifer and Common might be breaking up? Or do you think that she needs to give him another chance? Drop your thoughts in comments below and then check out this next video.